Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. A very warm welcome back especially to all of our bronze, silver and gold frequent flyers as well. If you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give the video a little like as well. Today we're checking out the new Milvis PC6 Porter and uh, we're using the notoriously infamous Air America livery from uh, many years ago. CIA, CIA controlled airline uh, doing loads of covert ops all around the world. We're at Serena Station at the moment and we're going to be going into a bit of a detailed look and overview of this new aircraft from Microsoft Flight Simulator. As always, let us know what you think in the comments below and if you want to get your hands on this, all the links will be in the video description down below too. So the aircraft in real life has been used extensively for civil and military use and it's also been widely used by numerous skydive operators globally as well. Sadly, uh, Pilatus, Pilatus doesn't create this anymore, it's um, ended on the production line uh, a couple of years ago now, but um, obviously it's alive in the sim which is always good. comes with an EFB in the uh, cockpit then, you can click the home button there and you can see it's animated down on the shelf here. You can click that to bring it up, turn it on and you get loads of configuration options with the exhaust covers, intake covers, prop tie downs, pizza cover, naturally you want all of those off. You can, um, they've described it as a bit of a Swiss army knife and there's a second update coming soon as well, um, allowing even more functionality. We've turned a weather radar pod on, we've got external tanks switched on as well. You can of course pop those off. And uh, for those of you who like operations in like the Antarctic for example, that fantastic new aerosoft scenery, then you can pop skis on, like so. We don't need the skis for today of course. Um, and there's also a secret door which we will look into once we're airborne. Into passenger and cargo configuration then, we can turn the cargo right up and fill her up and obviously you can see the aircraft drop down, you hear a bit of a noise in the back and the cargo hold is completely full. You can click passengers and you can turn them all on and then we get a load of seating in the rear and that trap door has disappeared too. But for the purpose of this, we're going to just load enough to cover the trap door there with, um, as you can see, what looks like an ammo crate, interestingly enough. So that's it, max takeoff weight is 2,800 kilos at the bottom and the current weight 2,094, perfect. And it's a stall aircraft. So uh, we can pretty much land and take off on incredibly short runways if we want to. It comes with a manual and the link to that will be in the description as well, going into quite a lot of detail about how to use it and uh, how it all works effectively, along with some checklists too. So we've removed all the covers and locks, wings tail, control services. Um, all of this is going to be external of course. We can have a little look at the control surfaces as well and this is where Milvis have really gone into good detail with all of their animations and all the little details of this aeroplane. It's the second aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Second to, of course, the Corsair that I've covered on the channel as well. Here we go. So loads of external sounds and internal sounds as well, all custom to the aircraft. There she goes. There she is. So let's uh, let's take her flying. See how she handles. Right, so for takeoff, you need to set the correct trim, and uh, that's mentioned inside the um, manual as well. You want to make sure aileron, uh, nose trim, and rudder trim are all set correctly. 
And uh, you've got rudder trim here. You want to make sure that is set all the way to the right on green. There we are. Okay, it says uh, trim stabilizer. You want mid center of gravity green mark. And uh, for forward aircraft or forward or aft config, either two degrees nose up or two degrees nose down within the green arc, uh, which is what we've got set. An aileron green mark zero degrees, which is uh, pretty much where we're at as well. Uh, that is us by the looks of it, set and ready to go. Flap set to 28 degrees. Which you can see here on the instrument, we've got a little takeoff marker. So in tens, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 28, 30 in land. Down to the side of the seat, steerable locked. That's the tail wheel stuff. So uh, you need to make sure that, that goes on to locked. So the tail wheel is no longer steerable. And rudder pedals are free, so. Idle control lever goes to high idle. There we go. First time taking off in this. And I can see why the rudder trim is really important there, because otherwise it would have been quite uncontrollable. So where we go. Letting that speed creep up a little bit. And for another view. I was close to losing control on that take, I've got to say, but this is literally the first time I'm taking a look at this. There we go, look there. <laughs> <laughs> what a great aeroplane this is. Away she goes. So these are all the preset views that you can get using the control button. Actually some are really nice like these little side wing views too. That one especially is pretty cool. Bringing all these flaps. And we are now into cloud. So one of the things that this aircraft can do is um, descend very quickly without losing speed. And that's what we're going to have a little look at today. As well, one of the real key features of this aeroplane actually, to be fair. Um, and hopefully you guys are going to really enjoy it. And the aim is going to be, having never flown this before, Climb up over Serena Station, which is just down there. Just there. Little pocket. And uh, descend down using the propeller as an air brake, which is a feature that this aircraft is really well known for. And uh, they reckon they can actually get a rate of descent maintaining about a hundred or so knots um, with a rate of descent of about 4,000 feet per minute if you do this right which is exceptionally cool so uh, we're going to give it a go before we do we're going to drop some cargo and uh, see how that all works as well comes with eight highly detailed liveries based on real world aircraft around the world as well including this Air America CIA owned version 2 which is really quite cool And uh, as I mentioned before, it has some droppable cargo, which is quite interesting. Uh, looking forward to actually seeing how that works, to be fair, actually, to be honest. So, as I was saying before, it's all in the instruction manual as well. One of the iconic features of the PC-6 Porter is that the pilot's able to put the propeller into what's called beta while in flight and um, it's often used apparently 
in skydiving operations, um, more so than anything else, so the aircraft can descend very quickly back down to the airfield to pick up the next load of skydivers waiting to go. Uh, but it also allows operators to drop into really short airfields in challenging terrain, just like Serena Station. There's loads of videos on YouTube apparently on how it all works, uh, but we're going to give it a go today. And this is a YouTube video. <laughs> uh, effectively, it turns the propeller into a massive air brake, so we can have a really steep rate of descent without losing speed uh, or in accumulating too much speed uh, and then ending up in an overspeed situation or anything like that. Uh, it's not just simple as like pulling back the throttle either, we have to pull back the power control lever uh, whilst in level flight and then almost allow it to stall so the aeroplane starts to drop. We have to then pitch the aircraft into a descent but it's not going to be completely pitched down, uh, nose down, it's going to be quite a good rate of descent. You can see as well that the aircraft has reverse. You don't want to use that in flight. It's got a big red tag there saying the same thing as well, of course. So, we're in a bit of clear air. There we are. Still climbing up ever so slowly. We're going to try and drop some cargo. So, there is a um, trapdoor release here. And she's gone. And of course the noise has increased because we've opened a uh, hole in the aircraft. We can close it up as well and there's that noise closing it all up too. Okay so I've climbed up nice and high now and uh, we're going to try or I'm going to try and get it into a form of beta uh, descent and for that, basically, I want to bring the power control to an idle cutoff position. I'm going to start to aim back towards the airfield first, actually. Which is through cloud, not ideal. It's down here somewhere. There we are, should be pretty much on the nose through that little gap. And uh, we're about six and a half thousand feet. We're going to let the speed come off. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get the beta to bite, having never done it before. Just using the manual that's included with the aircraft. So we've got to get down fairly steep down towards the airfield. So we go down to that stop and we're basically trying to maintain level flight. We're in the white band so let's get some flaps in and uh, wait and see that RPM drop off really quickly. There we go. So that shows that apparently we're then ungoverned. And uh, we are 7 degrees nose down at the moment and that rate of descent, what is that? 1,600 foot per minute. We could probably go down to maybe 10 degrees and see how, how well we could do this. So we, I think we're in beta now by the looks of it because we are really nose down. Um, occasions 10 degrees actually. Look, there we go. Yeah. I'm doing beta for the first time. And we're dropping almost 3,000 foot per minute there at times with that 10 degrees pitch down attitude. I'm going to trim for that just to try and hold that steady. We could probably do it even faster, to be honest. Holding 65. If I want to drop down at 80 or 90. You guys can see here our rate of descent at the moment. 15, well, 17 degrees almost, nose down. Holding 73 knots, and we're dropping at 2,500 foot per minute. 
And I would imagine this is a procedure that takes quite a bit of practice, but we, we, yeah, we can drop down really quickly. So 20 degrees nose down now. 4,000 foot per minute. And I'm holding 80 knots. So the, air, the propeller at the front is uh, acting as a really big air brake for us. Which is a really cool feature, actually. And uh, certainly unique to the aeroplane. Apparently, all we need to do to get out of this is apply power. 22 degrees nose down. 85 knots. Look how quick that altitude's dropping off. Wow. Hopefully at some point soon we're going to see some uh, land. Thousand feet. And apparently we just add power. That RPM shoots back up again and we're now governed We can get rid of some of those flaps because we're coming out the white band. There we go. We've dropped down really rapidly, actually. So, using the flight recorder mod just to uh, do a bit of replay, you guys can see it happening from the outside as well. So you can see how steep that rate of descent ended up becoming. So you can see the airfield. We're all the way up here. The airfield is just down there on our nose. There's the horizon. And we were holding 60 or so knots. Look how nose down we are. Quite cool. I could really highlight the point by going towards the belly so we can see the horizon off in the distance but also the airfield up ahead of us. This is at uh, the stage where we're about 20 or so degrees, 25 degrees at times, nose down. Textures, by the way, absolutely fantastic. Really like uh, the work that they've done on the actual texture work, as well as the model itself. Lots of little animations and things that we can click and switch. Really enjoyable. Let's get a bit of weather back in. Let's go for unreal weather this time. So this is the live Metar at the moment apparently. So in we go. Gotta look for about 65 knots or so. Trim is required, get everything set back up. We're in that white band. Start to bring the power off, let's get some flaps in as well. I go all the way with full flaps, might as well. And uh, when we touch down, I'm actually going to make use of this reverse section as well to help slow the aeroplane down really quickly. First time landing at Serena Station, so not really um, sure how it's going to go. Takeoff, of course, was quite narrow as well. TCPs are all looking good. Switch that view back a bit more, that's a bit better. Coming a bit shallower now. That I think will do us, we'll just idle the throttle. Get that reverse thrust on. Oh, look at that, look how quickly she stops. <laughs> wow. That's how much runway we've used. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great little bit of fun this is.
Here we go. Using the flight recorder mod, quick little replay. You can see how quickly we'll stop short now as well from the outside. Nice little touchdown actually right on the edge. <laughs> That's fantastic. So following on the checklist, uh, we want to obviously make sure that we've got all of that set up ready to go. We need to flick that latch and we get that nose, uh, the tail wheel unlocked for steering. And that needs to go to low idle. Like so. Flaps, we can pop them up. Nice little animations there. An ignition switch can go off too. And it taxis really nicely on idle as well, so you don't really need much power at all to get this thing going. Except for like the little hilly bits like this we're about to go down. We can go and park up at Serena Station. So just before we switch off the engines, I wanted to take you guys into the rear because obviously it's um, an aircraft that could be used for parachute use and all that sort of stuff too. And they've actually animated all of this. So we can to open the doors, we can get the parachute drop door open as well. Really nice little additional features actually. Cut off. Auxiliary fuel pump switch is over here. So we're watching the controls, and that's five now. Off. Nav lights off. Battery master switch off. She's shut down. Done. And there we go, a little introduction to the new Milvis PC6 Porter for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Give it a go, let us know how you get on in the comments below. If you've got any great routes, anything you'd like to see, then do let us know as well. I'm sure we'll uh, get something put together to give this a good go, perhaps on um, one of the online networks, somewhere particularly scenic but challenging too. Sabba potentially is going to be very good with this. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I hope to see you in a live stream very soon. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.